cut or uncut. Um, I'm really not going to give you a preference on that. I will say for men who are uncut or uncircumcised, you make up the majority of the world's population. I have seen thousands of penises in my life, okay, because of a profession I once had, which I won't go into here, but the only men who are circumcised are American men, white American men, and Jews. Um, all other men in, in all over the world are uncut. European men are uncircumcised. In the United States, African American men, Hispanic men are usually uncircumcised. Now, what a lot of these boys don't know is that usually when they are, by the time they're teenagers, their foreskin will naturally retract. They have to pull it back and it's important that they start pulling it back at that age to wash in the shower to get all the bacteria off that can grow under there, under the foreskin. I don't have any diagrams. You can look at diagrams online. But the point is that a lot of boys aren't taught that. I mean, I guess it's kind of an awkward thing for parents to tell their son, or maybe those parents didn't know. But if you have foreskin, you must pull it back in the shower and it should not hurt, it should easily slide back and you want to wash under there and get all the smegma off. Women also have smegma in the folds of their vulva and there's nothing wrong with smegma. It's just, um, it's just your body cells that are um, sloughed off body cells with natural um, oils from the glands in those areas. So it's all normal. But if you don't wash it off, bacteria can grow there, especially in those dark folds. And if you're a man who's already, uh, you know, well into his life and has never pulled back his foreskin, uh, you can get infections there. Um, all that ejaculate or urine, urine is just trapped in there. It can grow and get bacteria in there. So. Now another thing, um, you should you should be able to wash it, okay? So before you get with the woman, make sure it's clean so she doesn't have to put all that dirty stuff in her mouth. Number two is when a man uh, has an erection, uh, as his penis expands and swells, I know guys are gonna get turned on here, um, the, the head will pop out and the foreskin will naturally retract. So when a, 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 an uncut man is erect, you can't even tell that he's uncut. I can't tell looking at it. It looks like they're circumcised. But the problem is the majority of men that are uncut, they retract fine. But I have seen men where there is no retraction at all or just a slight retraction, and that's a problem. It's called thrombosis. P-H-R-O-M-B-O-S-I-S. -S. And I'm going to label this in the video. Guys, do you have thrombosis in your penis? I hope a lot of guys will watch this video because it's very important because a lot of these guys don't know because they've never, I don't know, have gone to physical exams. But if the foreskin doesn't retract, your erection can't get to its full size because the foreskin prevents your penis from fully enlarging. They still get really hard, but now I don't know because I haven't seen a guy before and after he had um, that fixed, but you can't grow it. You can't, there's a certain length that you're limited to and the head can't pop out. And so um, it could cause, it can cause, painful erections and it can also limit the amount of ejaculate that can come out like it limits the penis function when the foreskin is pretty much stuck in place um so now if you have a little boy who's uncut do not pull back his foreskin it is not meant to be uh, pulled back till they're teenagers and also I don't think that people should be touching their kids genitalia at all unless you know like you're changing a diaper or washing them in the bath don't don't fondle your boy's penis to pull back his foreskin it's they're too young and I don't think it's appropriate but you might um, 
Uh, if your little boy is playing with his penis, just allow it. If he does it in public, just remind him to do it in private. You don't want to shame kids for their natural curiosity about their bodies. And um, just be sure by the time your boy is a, a young teenager that you either give him a book or sh sh tell him, have the dad tell him. If there's a dad, else the mom, you know, just, sweetheart, you not, need to pull back your foreskin to wash under there. Because if they don't start doing that, it can stay stuck in place. Now, if it's stuck in place, there are different uh, types of surgeries that can be done. They can do adult onset circumcision. Some men have actually um, been able to do some stretching. You don't want to like be rough on your genitalia, but I guess like even with some warm water and oil, you can gradually stretch it and get it comfortable. But I would recommend talking to your doctor, um, especially like um, like a urologist. I think they spe you know they specialize in that and ask for advice on what you can do. I think you will enjoy your penis growth more you will enjoy your um, sex more, your erections won't hurt, and I think that you will also limit the chances of getting um, infections in there because um, I remember that uh, my sister is a surgeon and I remember in her residency when she worked at a, um, at a, at a, at a hospital, a, 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 like a state or city or teaching hospital, she would occasionally have to do uh, circumcisions on adult men because the thrombosis had led to infections in that area because if you can't clean it and that bacteria gets in there, it's just going to, it can cause an infection and can cause scarring. So um, this is kind of a public service announcement for the guys. For the women, you don't have to do anything. Like for the ladies, I just recommend that you clean your vulva area with something very gentle. You don't need soap down there. Um, I myself recommend that ladies use a gentle conditioner, like a high quality conditioner. You don't need a bunch of soap that just dries that area. It's very, for women, that skin area is very delicate. And ladies, you don't need to douche. Your vagina is naturally self-cleansing as long as you drink enough water and eat a healthy diet, that whole area should smell very clean and very fresh. Your vagina should always smell very fresh. So for the ladies, I recommend you might want to put, you know, like run your finger down there, see how it smells to tune in that you're fresh, but you don't need to clean with harsh soaps. And I don't think men do either. Just pull your foreskin back and just use some gentle conditioner and, um, and that should be fine. Um, as far as are cut guys more sensitive than uncut guys, I have not ever noticed a difference at all. There are men who are cut who come like that. There are guys who are uncut who last a long time. The only guys that come fast are guys who don't like their penis. That's one thing I've noticed. A lot of guys, if they don't like their penis or they're uncomfortable with intimacy, they'll come really fast. But I've never noticed, like there's a myth that Oh, I've been circumcised, so I lost my sensitivity. Um, maybe, I don't know, but I have seen um, un, uh, circumcised men who are like very quick. Um, so I, I don't know. I don't know what all the factors are. I think we should do more research on this, but hey, we're, sent, we're busy, you know, funding wars overseas, so we don't have money for mental health or for sexual research, you know? Priorities, I guess.